Today we're going to show you how to make map enhancers in a way that you can almost mass produce them if you don't have a factory of course. We're going to do these uh, with a template that we've built to place the fixtures. When I say fixtures that means the potentiometers, the toggle switches into a fixture. This is the fixture made out of a 2x4. You can see right here that we've placed these little nails, these are finishing nails, so that when we place the fixtures in there, they'll be oriented according to how they will fit into the enclosure. This is very easy to make right here. The way you can make this here without going through a long, whole bunch of details is to get whatever enclosure you're going to use, place the enclosure on the 2x4 or the board that you want to use of at least uh, this thickness here. This is a 2x4. And then go ahead and mark them and drill the holes. That way you'll have the fixtures for the uh, electronic devices, which are the potentiometers and the uh, toggle switches in position to where when, once you solder everything together you'll simply remove them out of the template and it'll fit perfectly into the enclosure. Uh, this will help you make them very quickly if you uh, are really making many of these for hydrogen generators. Of course you can make the board as long as you want and as big as you want depending on how many you want to make at one time. Now all you have to do here is keep in mind that the potentiometers, uh, many of them have a little uh, device on them that keeps them positioned. This is a little tang right here, you can see it. You just cut those off, they break right off. Uh, that's a positioning device that they put on these if you use them in certain applications. We break them off because we really don't need them in this application. So what we'll do here, looking at this right here, this is one that's already been wired in. We're going to go ahead and place the potentiometers right in the template and the little nails here actually line up everything. So you can adjust these to how you want depending on the size potentiometer you have and the layout, that is the layout of the enclosure is mimicked within this template. So you take the little toggle switches, they're oriented as you see right here. Uh, this is the uh, Highway City orientation of this switch right here. Uh, actually this one goes like this and this one goes like this. If we turn it around, we'll be able, to, uh, be able to see how it's actually oriented right here. It looks something like this in the in the uh, template. On off, I mean this is Highway City, and this would be the on off factory setting to the enhancer mode. And it would be in here like this. So you actually have the orientation of how this is going to fit into the enclosure once you wire once you wire everything in position according to the schematic for this particular application, that being the map enhancer, which goes on either a map sensor or a mass airflow sensor. Now we have our solder station set up to uh, place all the wiring where it needs to go according to the schematic that you're using for the application for this map enhancer. Uh, the best way to prepare everything is to have all of the wires stripped and ready to go. Now that's the wires you see right here already sorted in. This one's not sorted in yet obviously. So uh, something to expedite the application here is a wire stripper. stripper. This is an automatic stripper right here. You can find these at Harbor Freight. Many tool companies handle these. Uh, I'm sure if you do a research on the internet you'll find a wire stripper of this type. Uh, they're very handy. This is how it works. We're going to use a larger wire right here to demonstrate. You place it into the proper gauge, whatever the, the cutout is for that particular wire. And what you do is you just squeeze it, it strips it off. That's what you have. It's done very, very quickly. Uh, so if you're going to make many of these, of course, you would want something of that nature. If you want to strip them regularly with a regular straight-on stripper that you pull, that's a little bit more effort involved. So what you do with the wire state, you have your wires prepared, you have your solder station ready to go, you'll go ahead and solder the wires into the proper locations right off the fixture that you made. You can line all of these up ahead of time, put all the potentiometers in, put all the little switches in there, and go ahead and run each wire. Best way to do that is to take one wire at a time. If you're going to use this particular wire, for example, right here in the fixture, 
that would be soldered here and here and do the same thing across the whole board with everything already in place. Then take the next step, the next wire, and do them all. That way you can check them as you go along, make sure they're all done properly. This really makes it very quick. And once you're finished with all of the wiring, this one's finished, you'll, play, you'll pull the, uh, the wiring and the switches right out of the uh, fixture. This is what you'll have right here. It's ready to go in. It's actually ready to go into the little box, the enclosure. And what you do is you just fit it right into the enclosure, press it in, push it into the holes, put the nuts on there, the retaining nuts, and that's what you have right there. Very, very easy to make. And then you just solder your wires that come out right here, put the cover on, and there you have it. Map enhancer, mass produce, you can do this in your garage. Very simple to do. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate this video. There's very many more to come.